Very question good. number five, Phil Twyford. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister for Building and Construction. How can the government's housing policy be a success, as the Prime Minister said, when four out of five renters cannot buy a house in their area without going into financial hardship? Uh, Mr Speaker. The Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, firstly, because we have been successful in trebling new home construction from the all-time low of late 2008 to a level of investment of over $12 billion a year, an all-time high. Secondly, because of the successful ramping up of assistance to first home buyers. In 2008, the government provided only $10 million worth of assistance. The Kiwi Saver Home Start scheme has now providing $700 million worth of assistance per year. Thirdly, I would note that the housing affordability measure yesterday, mentioned by the member, showing four out of five people in that category, that that is actually a lower number in housing affordability stress than when National became government. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Does he accept that with such low numbers of Aucklanders getting help from Home Start, that the scheme has failed in the place where first home buyers most need help, and the fact that he's now looking at bumping up the price limits for the third time in four years simply means that his scheme cannot keep up with house prices oh, under Speaker. his policies. Oh, Mr. Speaker. The, the Mr Speaker, I note that the KiwiSaver Home Start scheme in its first year helped 12,000 New Zealanders into their first home. In the last year, it's helped 15,000 New Zealanders into their own home. This is the most generous support uh, that government has provided in more than a generation to get people into Home Start, into their home ownership. And I simply say to the member opposite, yes, it is working and it's very popular. We're at... oh. Supplementary. Yes, Sarah. Supplementary question, no. Sarah Dowry. Oh, to the Minister, does the report released yesterday by MB have information that highlights successful initiatives in improving housing affordability? Uh, Mr Speaker. The Honourable Dr Nixon. Uh, yes, the report does highlight the dramatic improvement for both first home buyers and renters in Canterbury to the point where housing is way more affordable today than it's been long before that city was hit with earthquakes. The strategy adopted in Canterbury Order. was to radically free up land supply and creating genuine competition in the provision of sections. And I note, Mr Speaker, the price of an average section in Christchurch is now $190,000 as compared with $530,000 in Auckland. It paves the way of what we need to do in other areas, and that's why things like the RMA reform and the Urban Development National Policy Statement show the way forward on improving affordability. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. When he said, quote, it appeared Auckland house hunters were holding back until prices stabilised and supply increased, unquote. Did he know that the average Auckland house price has gone up by more than $100,000 in the last year, and the supply shortage is getting worse by 6,000 houses a year, on top of the 40,000 home deficit that is built up on his watch? Uh, Mr Speaker. The Honourable Dr Nick Smith. I'd invite the member to have a look in the mirror, because during the last Labor government, House prices more than doubled, and they did nothing. Secondly, I would note that with the huge ramp-up in housing construction in Auckland as part of the supply, the last six months has seen house prices in Auckland flat, and I think members of the House should welcome that. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Does he agree with the Salvation Army, the country's most respected social agency, who today endorsed Labor's Kiwi Build plan and said, and I quote, rather than messing around with the transfer of state houses, the government needs to be a whole lot more ambitious about the number of affordable houses it can build. Uh, Mr Speaker. The, the Mr. Honourable Speaker. Dr Nick Smith. Uh, the current government is building more houses directly than any in more than 25 years. In respect of Kiwi Build, I would just love 
the Labor Party to explain how it can possibly recycle the money every three months to be able to achieve their targets. It's a pipe dream. It's a soundbite. It is anything but a credible policy. Mike Greer. Supplementary. Supplementary question. Phil Twyford. Did he keep his ham, or housing affordability measure, hidden from the public for so long because it quantified the national housing crisis, showing that 86 per cent of renters in Auckland cannot buy a house without going into financial hardship? Or was it because it was so politically damaging as his officials suggested? Uh, Mr Speaker. The Honourable Dr McSpeak. Unlike members of the opposition, this government respects the independence of Statistics New Zealand. In fact, I know members opposite repeatedly attack them. But I would draw to their attention the housing affordability measure shows that the worst deterioration in housing affordability occurred between 2003 and 2008, during which period the Labor government did absolutely nothing. Order. Order. Question number six, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Come on, medicine. Uh, Mr Speaker, this